Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing total two coding questions which were asked in Accenture actual assessment that happened today only that is on 13th August 2024. So guys, as you all know that on campus hiring for 2025 batch Accenture has started and from yesterday only the Accenture assessments in different different colleges are happening. So guys, since the assessments are happening in colleges, it is very difficult for me to gather the questions and to make the video for you. I have gathered two questions from today and I am making this video. But if you find more such coding questions from yesterday's as well as today's assessment, please feel free to share them on the telegram groups that I, that I mentioned in the description box or you can share it to me personally also on the telegram. Okay, I hope I have made myself clear. It is like a bit of problem to gather these questions. So for that effort, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because every like and subscribe will motivate me to make more such videos. And guys, today only there is a good news that TCS NQT for 2025 batch on campus have been announced. I have already made a detailed video about that on my channel. Do check this video also because this hiring is also a mass hiring for TCS and it will be a good opportunity for all of you to get placed in TCS. Okay, and before moving ahead, you know that this is a telegram group dedicated for 2025 batch students. So do join it. The links will find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button. Okay, so guys, both the questions that I will be discussing in this video are slightly on the easier level. Okay, so I will be discussing the question, then the approach and then the coding part of the question. So first question is, you are working on a financial analysis tool, which represents daily stock prices of the company over time. Each element is an integer array A of size n represents the closing price of the stock for that particular day. Your task is to find and return an integer value representing the total number of days where the stock market price decreased indicating the negative growth. Okay, let's just simply understand with the help of example. So we have an array. Let's suppose this is the array that is given to us. Five and every element of this array represents the closing price of the stock on that particular day for example 7 is the uh, 7 is the number of days okay so on first day closing price of the stock was 5 then on the next day closing price was 6 then 4 then 5 then 2 then 3 and then 4 respectively and every day you can see it is an either the stock price will increase from previous day or either the stock price will decrease from the previous day okay so what we have to find we have to find the number of days where the stock price has decreased previous from the previous days for example if you will see on first day it was the stock price was 5 on the second day the stock price was 6 so it means that on the second day the stock price got uh, ahead okay got increased on the next day stock price decreased to 4 so 4 it means it was decreased so we will do count count equivalent to 1 so this is the first day on which the stock price decreased so count variable we are taking we are doing count as one then on next day it became five so it increased from four then next day it became two so it decreased from five so again we will do count equivalent to two then next day it became three that is it increased and the next day again it increased to four so total number of days where the stock price decreased from the previous days were two so therefore the answer is two also okay i hope this particular example is clear to you now let's just move towards the next example so here also we will take a count variable so count equivalent to 0 initially so on the first day the stock price of 5 on the next day the stock price decreased to 4 so on this day decreasing in the stock price happened next day also stock price decreased to 3 so this day also the decreasing happened next day also it decreased to 2 so again decreased the number of days will increase then again on the next day the stock price decreased so again we will be adding that day into the count variable so there were total four days on which the uh, stock price decreased from the previous days okay so therefore we have uh, returned total four days here okay now i hope now the question is clear to you the approach now let's just quickly discuss the approach of this uh, question so approach of this question will also be very similar same very easy to, uh, very easy it will be let's just take an example here okay let's just take an example five six four five two three four so what we'll do we will take a counter here we will take a counter here we will check whether the price of the current day is less than the previous day or not if it is less than the previous day we will simply increase count to uh, count, we will simply do count plus plus so we are at 6 is it uh, greater than uh, is, it, is it less than the previous day no then we are at 4 is it less than the previous day answer is 1 yes then we are at 5 is it less than the previous day answer is no then we are at 2 is it less than the previous day the answer is yes so we will increase to 2 
now next is 3 is it less than the previous day answer is no then we are at 4 is the price less than the previous day's price so answer is no so therefore in the end once the loop is over we will simply return count equivalent to 2 it is that simple okay i hope now the question and approach is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this particular question okay so as i have told you that in accenture you only have to implement the function not the uh, input and output not anything like that so what we will do we are given an input as n that is the number of days in the array and then what are the array elements okay where every array element represents the closing price of the stock on that day okay so first of all before moving ahead two things here please hit the like subscribe button for this channel and do join the Sajram group this is the one thing and second thing guys see the motive of this video is not to like uh, may, uh, is not that if the question gets repeats you can simply copy paste the answer there see the questions will get can get uh, repeated but there can be a slight change also in the question so while copy pasting the answer or while uh, thinking that okay this is the same question as i have discussed please make sure that you read the question twice because there might be some modification in that question which might lead to the wrong answer so if you will try to copy paste this solution in the modified version then again it will fail okay so just do try to read the entire question match the line by line and then only go towards writing the code okay some people what they do they just see that okay this is the financial data set uh, in, in youtube also i have seen the financial data set so let's just copy the answer no just first read the question carefully there might be a difference in input and output there might be a different thing that they are asking and you are uh, you are getting confused in the actual thing so this was my responsibility to tell you that do not just blindly copy paste the answer just read the question first and then apply your logic okay so here we have given n number of days so if number of days are zero or number of days are one so there ca there cannot be any days where uh, the uh, what we can say decrease in the price has happened so we, therefore we are returning zero then we are taking a variable called count count equivalent to zero and we are running a loop from the second element that is i equivalent to one till i less than n to compare the values of the current day with the previous day so if the value of current day is less than that of previous day we will simply doing count plus plus that is this is the day when the decree negative when uh, when the negative growth of the stock was there so simply if the price of current element is less than the previous element we are doing count plus plus after the loop is over we are simply returning count from here let's just see with the help of example only which that example we have written here 564 it should give us 2 as the output let's just quickly see it okay and if you have forgot to hit that like and subscribe button till now please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because more such videos will be posting so answer is coming as 2 let's just now run the decreasing part so seven six five four three two one here the answer should come out to be six days because six days were there when the price of the stock fell from the previous days so yeah answer is coming out to be six so guys i hope this question approach and code of this question is but is clear to you so now let's just move towards the next question and before moving to that please join this telegram group also the links you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment so guys the next question is Alice has a pair of magical shoes that allows her to climb three stairs at once. In the city, there are n houses whose roof Alice wants to reach. The number of roofs of each house is given in an array. A. Alice can reach the roof of only those houses where the number is a multiple of three. Your task is to find and return integer value representing the count of the number of houses whose roof Alice, Alice can climb. So, in simple terms, in simple terms, Alice can only climb those roof who are multiple of three. You will be given an array where the height of every building will be given to you. Okay, space separated. Out of those buildings, you will have to only find those buildings whose height are multiple of three. Then only Alice can climb them. Simple as that. So here, height of four buildings are given to us. So here, what will be the number of total number of buildings? Output is the total number of buildings Alice can climb. So we will come to the first building. We will check whether, okay. Whether Alice can climb this building or not, it's a multiple of 3. Yes, it can climb it. Okay, count becomes 1. Then we come to second building. It is also a multiple of 3. Alice can climb it. Then the count becomes 3 or 2. Then again on the next building, it is a multiple of 3. Alice can climb. Count becomes 3. Next building uh, is 4. Height is 4. So, Alice can cannot climb this building. It was, it was not a multiple of 3. So, therefore, total 3 buildings Alice can climb and answer is 3 only. Next input, let's just see. 2 buildings are given 1 and 2. So how many buildings Alice can climb? So we will come to first building, we will check. Okay, whether it is a multiple of 3 or not. No, it is not. So it can uh, Alice cannot climb this building. N coming to next building, it is 2. Height is 2. So we will check. 
whether it is a multiple of 3 or not it is not a multiple of 3 so alice cannot climb in this building also so if alice is not able to climb any building we will simply return 0 that no alice cannot climb this building i hope this question is clear to you it's very simple you just have to iterate the array and at every element you will have to check whether it's a multiple of 3 or it is not okay let's just quickly move towards the code before before uh, going towards the code just hit the like and subscribe button for this channel okay it take lot of efforts to gather the questions and do it join this telegram group it is dedicated for 2025 batch students the link you will find in the description box as well as in the pinned comment now coming to the uh, code for this particular question houses again in accenture only you have to write the function not the input and output so n is the number of houses vector v is the array where every element is the height of the building so if n is 0 so it means no building you can climb so we are simply returning 0 from here then we are storing int count equivalent to 0 okay this will store that how many buildings alice can climb we are iterating over each building that is each element of the array and we are checking whether that element is a multiple of 3 or not okay we are checking whether that element is a multiple of 3 or not that is how we can check we can do simply current element mod 3 and if it returns 0 that means v of i is the uh, is the multiple of 3 so in this case we are doing count plus plus but there, but there is one more condition that is current element should not be 0 because see if we are doing 0 mod 3 0 mod 3 what it will give it will give 0 only so 0 mod 3 will give us 0 only so it will be a wrong answer so if the current height of the building is not 0 and it is a multiple of 3 then only we are doing count plus plus and in the end we are returning the count let's just see with the help of example let's just run it 1 2 4 answer should be 0 because none of the buildings are the multiple of 3 uh, next let's just see 9 18 6 okay in this case the answer should be coming out to be 3 because all these are the uh, multiple of 3 sorry there is one error uh, where is the error on line 12 sorry yeah <clears throat> let's just run it answer should be coming out to be 3 <clears throat> Okay, answer is coming out to be 3. Let's just make it 7 now. Answer should come out to be 2. So here, all the test cases that will be given to you will be passing. So make sure that you read the question clearly. If there is a modification in it, you will have to modify this code. Okay, and then only just first read the question carefully. Try to understand the concept. Write your own code. Okay, so this was it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. More such videos regarding the Accenture hiring, I will be posting on this channel. And guys, if you get any questions regarding the hirings that are going on on 12th uh, august also on 13th august also so do share that in uh, to me on telegram or you can share in the group also the links for contacting me and the telegram group you will find in the description box thank you for watching this video and do hit that like and subscribe button